What's up guys? It's James here from J Ray Games and I'm back with another PS to sorry, PS VR to PC tutorial. And this one comes after many requests, probably over a dozen requests. Today we're going to play Assetto Corsa. So I just want to show you it works. Stay tuned, you don't want to miss this. Alright, so today we're playing Assetto Corsa. I hope I'm saying that right, I'm not Italian. And uh, it is a fantastic driving simulator game. So for those of you out there who are, you know, hardcore driving fanatics, this game is awesome. All right, so uh, what we're going to do, this is probably going to be a short video because it works really well. Um, we're going to turn on our PSVR. We're going to get Trinus working. You can see it's already calibrated. If you haven't done this before, you haven't seen this before, follow my other videos, get hooked up, get set up, and then you're going to be playing off, uh, pretty quickly here. So next what we're going to do is we're going to go into steam and we're going to make sure we're running steam in, as an administrator so let's get that going and i apologize for that screen flicker that's just that administrator window that pops up that uh, i can't show you on the screen recording all right let's get her going so it'll take a couple minutes for steam to load up here uh, but once steam is loaded up i'm going to just show you the game and then we're going to look at how to set it up to play. All right. And it is a very good experience. I don't have my Thrustmaster here. Um, otherwise, I would be able to show you with the wheel and everything. It would be fantastic. It's just I don't have it set up right now. So we're going to have to deal, or we're going to have to suffer, I guess, with the gamepad today. All right. So the game we're looking for, I'll just show you it really quickly so that you can find it. Assetto Corsa. Racing Simulator. Now you'll notice that it has Open VR and Vive support built in. It's in beta mode, but it works really well. And so we're going to have to get that, obviously. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to run Steam VR in Administrator mode. Let's get that going. Again, I apologize for that flash. That's the Administrator window that comes up that I can't really show you but I think you guys all know what it looks like it's just asking for permission and there we go there's our uh, headset window loaded up compositor and I like to do alt tab to switch to that compositor window then I'm gonna do shift windows left to put it into the headset we're gonna put down the rift because we don't need that right now now Corsa is a little different in the fact that the whole game is not VR. Um, the menus, the um, settings windows, all of that stuff is still 2D. The time when it changes into VR is when you actually race or drive the car, which is fine. Uh, one person online said that it's like putting on your helmet when you're, when you're getting ready to race, which I think is pretty good. Uh, so we're going to run Assetto Corsa. Now... When you run the game, you need to have Steam VR running first so that it detects that you have a VR headset. That way it's going to launch in, in sort of a, uh, a VR mode of the game. So we're going to load it up. And it's going to hopefully record the game on here. I, I hope so. Uh, we're going to see if that works. I'm going to also try to use Shadow Play. Uh, to get the gameplay if it doesn't so we'll see there might be a little split or a little cut in my video here but we're gonna wait for that to load hopefully that's showing right now it seems like it is and um, the game's gonna load up as usual okay we'll kinda skip the video here it's gonna load up as it normally would I don't think I think if you've played this in 2d you're not gonna see any difference at all at this point the big difference is going to be the changes you make to the rendering mode uh, so that it works with VR. And like I said, because this is built in, it's native, it's, it's in beta, but it is working perfectly. It's not too complicated. It's not too difficult to set up. But I will show you some settings that I made 
that I felt really helped with the gameplay and made it look a little better. Okay, so we'll wait for that to load. And as uh, soon as this gets loaded up, we're going to have a few options available to us. Hopefully it doesn't crash on me. It hasn't yet, but okay, here we go. Main menu. We're going to go to the main menu. It's going to bring us into this window here. Uh, the big thing here is to go into our options right away. And you want to make sure you're 19, 20, 10, 80. You want to make sure you're set the same resolution as the headset. And in here, I had it set for Rift, but that didn't work. So you have to go to Open VR. And it says early support, but it works really well. Okay. Couple settings I made. Now you can decide whether these are important to you, but I was looking for the best visual quality I could. Now if your computer can't support that, or if you're able to even go higher than what I've got, then by all means do it. I turned on vertical sync. I put this to eight times for the filtering and I put anti-aliasing to four times. This one was huge. This one made a big difference between pixelation and actual good smooth graphics. I set everything to maximum and ultra. I went into my effects. I basically turned most stuff on really high. It didn't seem to make a big difference uh, as far as the speed. And uh, everything was good under view. You can change your field of view which is kind of cool. Uh, reflections, again, I turn that all to high. And once we're good to go, we can go to drive. Okay, so once I'm happy with all that, I'm going to hit drive. And you know what? I'm not a, not a fan of this car. We'll just go to, I don't know, we'll pick any car. Ooh, yeah, Supra. I like Supra. Oh, it's DLC. Shoot. So let's go back. Let's select a car. I was using a Lotus before. That was kind of a fun car. Let's go with that. I think it's the default car. And you'll see that you got tons of tracks to choose from. We'll just go with a basic one. One of the first ones here. And, you know, you got all these amazing controls. You can change your weather. You can change the track. You can change the time of day. Like, you've got a lot of optimizations you can make. Not only to the, the day that you're racing... And the track that you're racing but obviously to the vehicle which is huge if you're a racing fanatic and you want to have control over every aspect of this vehicle now like i said normally i'd be using a thrustmaster with my pedals and steering wheel today i'm just going to use a gamepad just to show you that it works perfectly but you can easily swap that out um, under controls okay so you want to make sure you go into option controls and set it for whatever control device you have and if you haven't seen my video on setting up a controller check it out it explains how to set these things up hit start engine and you'll see it loading as usual how the game would normally load but you're going to see a big difference because once it loads here we go hopefully i didn't lose you you'll see that i'm in the cockpit of the car and you can see as i turn my head everything tracks beautifully i use my mouse to select the drive wheel here to get started. I'm using my gamepad. I know you can't see me right now, but I can turn my head, I can look around, and here we go. Let's get racing. Hopefully this is showing properly. It will look like a stretched panorama in 2D, but in the headset it looks exactly as it should. All right, I'm not the best driver here. I apologize for those of you who are probably pro at this game. I am not that good at driving games. They're just not my thing. But I'll do a lap here just to show you how well it's working. Like I said, I could turn my head side to side, no problem. And I can look out my windows, I can look in the back seat if I want, whatever. And uh, it's going to work just perfectly. Now there's another cool thing here that we can do. Um, we can change the view using the back button, so on this straightaway here I can show you, there we go. I can change the view, I can get all sorts of different views, but I really like, when I'm playing VR, I like it with my hands in front of me, and as if I'm actually driving. Now, like I said before, if you've got a Thrustmaster, if you've got an actual steering wheel, you're going to do a lot better with this, it's going to feel a lot better, you're going to feel like you're actually driving this car, uh, because it is the proper tool for the job here. Alright, um, 
And I guess the nice thing about this game is it all depends on your computer's power. Alright, the speed of your computer. If it can handle higher quality graphics, then you can go to uh, maximum settings. Nice thing is that VR was supported, so it just works right away. And, um, you know, it's a, it's a good experience. It's really fast and, and smooth, and uh, you really get a sense of immersion when you're in the car. And, oh, and I suck. Alright, but anyways, you get the point. It is working. It works really, really well. And um, hopefully you're going to enjoy that as much as I have. And I'm not even a racing fan, and I enjoy it. I'm just going to hit exit here. But you can see that it is working flawlessly. And um, it's, a, it's actually a really fun experience. You'll feel like you're in that car. Now, make sure to make those adjustments to your um, video settings. Because I found when it first... When I first played it, it was kind of pixelated and blocky and I didn't like the look of it. I had to go in, make those changes to the graphics so it would look a lot better. Anyways, I hope this helps. I know there was some of you who were asking for this one and I wanted to deliver to make sure that you guys get to see that this is a playable game in VR. Till next time, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe and like this video if you want more VR content coming in the future. Till next time, thanks again, see you later.